Hello to all of my geeks and nerds from the galaxy far, far away. Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. So it is definitely no big secret that many old fans of Star Wars are not happy with Star Wars nowadays. And people overall are very displeased with Disney Star Wars in particular. Really kind of makes you reevaluate how you felt about the prequels, huh? I think people overall are displeased with Star Wars because of the woke content that they're finding in the sequel trilogy, as well as all the political rhetoric and the social agenda that they appear to have. That's not how the force works. This put a really bad taste in people's mouth and so many fans that were longtime fans of the franchise completely just wrote off Star Wars and completely abandoned the franchise. Now, this is to the point where fans are not giving any new Star Wars content a try because they're essentially still trying to recover from the bad hangover that the sequel trilogy gave them. And I'm in that camp. I did not like the sequel trilogy overall, but that did not prevent me from enjoying other Star Wars content. And I am here today to tell you that there is a lot of great new Star Wars content to enjoy. That is exactly what we're going to be talking about today. So let's get in to the five pieces of modern Star Wars content that actually make me like Disney Star Wars. Number one, obviously, The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian is a great show, and if you have not watched it yet, I really would encourage you to because it is just amazing. Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni really did an amazing job making it feel like classic Star Wars, but with a modern flair. What I find really amazing about The Mandalorian is it is very modern and includes diversity in diverse characters, but they are very subtle about it. I really think diversity is tastefully dealt with in The Mandalorian. Not to mention, we got one of the most epic scenes in Star Wars in years, and that is the Luke Skywalker hallway scene, which literally brought so many fans to tears. And of course, we got this guy who I absolutely adore. Grogu, how you doing, Grogu? The Mandalorian Disney Plus series is just amazing and just makes me so excited to see what other live action Star Wars series come to Disney Plus. I'm especially excited for the Kenobi series, and I really am excited about the Ahsoka series, not to mention the Boba Fett series and future seasons of The Mandalorian. Cannot wait till that all comes out. Now, because obviously this is a comic book channel, we have to talk about comic books. There are dozens of Star Wars comic books, and I really feel that the new Marvel Star Wars comic books are just stellar, specifically the Darth Vader series. Now, there have been several volumes of the Darth Vader series, uh, which are all worth reading, but I think my personal favorite is the Charles Soul run on Darth Vader, which is just great. I think Charles Soule does a great job with Star Wars, and he contributed a lot to the Star Wars mythos here and there's just so much creativity in it, and it, it's just great. Charles Soule actually brings Vader back to the early days of his Sith apprenticeship right after the Clone Wars. It's so interesting and just awesome. But not only the Darth Vader series, I, th I think the main Star Wars series is actually really great. Uh, a lot of amazing stories coming out of that run, but then there are also comic books that are dedicated to particular characters. We have one about Poe Dameron. We had one even about Chewbacca. Dr. Aphra, who's a new character that was created by Marvel and has enjoyed a lot of popularity by fans. Next, we have Jedi Fallen Order. If you haven't played Jedi Fallen Order and you are a fan, please go and play Jedi Fallen Order right now. It is such an amazing game and it is literally the game that I have waited for all my life. The reason why I like Star Wars is the Jedi lore and the lightsabers. And up until Jedi Fallen Order came out, I really wasn't happy with the lightsaber content that we got. Uh, I mean, Knights of the Old Republic is just one of my favorite games of all time, but it was turn-based and you weren't actually controlling the lightsaber. Uh, in the Jedi Academy series and uh, Jedi Outcast, you're kind of just swing it or around and it's essentially just like a like a 
baseball bat. But in Jedi Fallen Order, it's actually very stylistic and you feel like the Jedi. There are counter strikes and you're able to deflect blaster bolts and you can cut droids in half and into pieces. It's just amazing and the graphics are amazing and it's just, oh, I cannot wait for Jedi Fallen Order 2 to come out. It is, it's, it's just an amazing game. Not to mention, we got one of the most amazing Darth Vader scenes ever. Like, I got chills when I saw this. You have failed me, Inquisitor. Avengers! Ooh, I'm still getting chills thinking about it. Now, this next piece of content that we're going to be talking about is probably going to be very divisive, and that is Star Wars The High Republic. Uh, I'm in the camp that actually really enjoys The High Republic. A lot of fans today are just dismissing The High Republic as woke garbage, but if you give The High Republic a try, it's actually great, especially if you like the Jedi. You get to see the Jedi in their prime, and it kind of really shows you how crappy the Jedi of the Clone Wars era were, when you see the Jedi that are portrayed in the High Republic. Just amazing. Love, love uh, Light of the Jedi by Charles Soule. I just got Rising Storm in the mail. I plan to read it and review it. Uh, I just can't wait to jump into it. It's just been uh, amazing reading the High Republic books. Now, not all of them are great. Like I actually, in particular, did not really care for uh, Into the Dark by Claudia Gray. I mean, I love Claudia Gray. She's a great Star Wars author, but uh, for some reason, I just really wasn't into this book. Now, there are little bits in The High Republic that are you feel are kind of just thrown in there for tokenism, for lack of better words, but it doesn't really take away from the actual story and the actual experience of reading The High Republic. I absolutely just love it. Tell me what you think of The High Republic. Have you read the books? Let me know in the comments. And speaking of The High Republic and Star Wars books, my number five piece of content that I really, that really makes me like Disney Star Wars is the other Star Wars canon novels that they have published. Obviously, not all of them are great, but there have been some really amazing canon novels, in particular, Master and Apprentice. This is probably my favorite canon Star Wars novel uh, to date. Uh, Lost Stars by Claudia Gray is also an amazing book and has, has gotten a lot of praise from fans. You need to check out some of the new canon books. They are great. I know since Disney took over the Star Wars franchise, all of the EU books were labeled as Legends. I still enjoy the Legends books. Uh, but I also enjoy the new canon books. They're great. You have to give them a try. If you're one of those people that's in the Legends camp and refuses to read anything from the new canon, I really would encourage you to give some of the new canon books a try, especially Master and Apprentice. Awesome book. If you're looking to pick up anything that we talked about today, the links will be in the description. So that about does it for our video today. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. So are you like me? Are you a person that really didn't like the sequel trilogy, but you're not really deterred from trying anything else that Disney Star Wars is putting out? Or have you just been completely turned off by the sequel trilogy and are never going to give anything Star Wars a chance again? Or were you the type of person that loved the sequel trilogy and just loves everything Disney Star Wars? And actually, I would really like to hear from someone who likes Disney Star Wars better than the Lucasfilm and George Lucas Star Wars. That would be really interesting. Leave it all in the comments. Would really like to have a great discussion about this. And as always, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.